Hello everybody, so much to tell. welcome back to Code Geass. We're on episode 10. In the last episode, we had this whole thing with a new drug called Refrain, which takes you back to the past. It's really strange. Um, and we got a lot of uh, information and background on Callan. Um, turns out her real mother is actually, well, she was a servant for, um, for essentially that family. Because um, her stepmother ended up coming in, uh, coming in, so... Um, yeah, there, there was there was issues at home where Callan thought that um, her mother was like weak. I mean, she still thought that, that that was the case towards the end of the episode, but she originally thought that um, the woman was staying behind because of her love for the father, which is not the case. She was staying there because that's where Callan was, and you know she she. Um, her mother's happy for Carlin because she gets to live as a Britannian, essentially, which means it's a better life for her daughter and, and stuff like that. But uh, because of the drug use with this refrain thing, she has been sentenced to 20 years um, imprisonment, I guess. So it gives Carlin more motivation to follow Lelouch's whole thing. Um, and we'll see where that uh, we'll see where that leads. So yes, that is all for uh, the pre-discussion episode, uh, episode 10. So let's just get into this, shall we? Let's go. Hmm? A Britannian? He looks too confident to be a spy. An extremist? Isn't it wonderful how the number of recruits keeps growing? And it was simpler than I ever expected. Eleven support the Black Knights for the most part. Which in turn makes it easier for us to operate as a whole. It's a huge help that the people don't report our activities to the Britannians. Plus, I hear some group called Kyoto offered to send us some nightmares. The number of informants has been increasing quickly, hmm. too. Yes, I was demoted from my position, in very much the same way that you were. We have no intention of letting the situation end this way. You're familiar with Ashford Private Academy? I want to investigate a male student attending there. I think he may be Shit. working with Zero. Valletta and I are going to be that close? the military soon for duty, and will be stationed in the Narita Mountains. Therefore... These are Glasgow's, aren't they? Vurais, a Japanese modification. I've never seen these before. Man, what? the Black Knights have got some serious muscle. It wasn't easy to sign up with the BK. So that makes us special, huh? We're elite. I totally am. A completely made Japanese nightmare. A Gurren Mark II. Did you check out the manual? This is merely a test they've put to us. So what if it is? This is still incredible. You are an optimist. <sighs> What's this? The Gurren Mark II is yours now, Colin. I'm a commander. I'll use a Burai. But you're our only ace to play during a battle. Besides, you have reason to fight. We got some weird intel here from a Britannian who wants to join up with the Black Knights. Mm -hmm. But news like this isn't something we can just ignore. What should we do? This weekend we're going hiking. Um, of course there's done. nothing to report. This area is controlled by the Japan Liberation Front. No one can just stroll in. <laughs> <laughs> Relax. I only came to talk. I want you to ignore any unusual activity during your watch. Zero isn't using the radio to avoid being traced. Is he serious about this? The day I've waited for has finally come, Cornelia. We're certain that the Japan Liberation Front's headquarters are in this area. We've already split four battalions into seven units and hidden them in the vicinity. And are you confident that the enemy won't show up outside the encirclement line? You mean zero? Have no fear about that. As the operation begins, we'll be blocking off the surrounding highways and mountain roads also. Plus, we have reserve units. Ah, uh, interesting. That's why they wanted to stay up. inside. C2, what are you doing here? I said that I would protect you, didn't I? Aren't you overdoing it? I've been wondering about something, Lelouch. You changed your family surname to Lamprouge, but you kept Lelouch the name that was given to you at birth. How sentimental. You can't let go of the past. Well, C2 swings to the other extreme, doesn't it? It's not a human name. <laughs> Do you know why Snow is white? Mm -hmm. Snow is white because it's forgotten what color it's supposed to be. What? command the medical group. What's that unit there holding to the rear? A reserve force with an eleven pilot. What? You mean that's oh, the that's exactly when it as a rule, numbers aren't permitted to operate. He's always ways, there. But that particular unit is an exception. The second prince is the patron of that unit. We have no say over their personnel selection. Right. Commence operation. 
you the Japan Liberation Front. You who time has left behind. You who have forgotten basic human decency. You and your dream of a bygone golden age shall fall and rot to nothingness. It's begun. Huh? What the hell? You've got to be kidding, Zero. Those troops coming in have this whole area totally surrounded. There's no way out. We've... It would be a miracle if we win this. Zero, what are you saying? Even messiahs need to perform miracles if they're to be acknowledged. Therefore, we have to produce our own miracle, don't we? I knew it was insane to make you our leader! It should be me! <laughs> if you think you can win without me, then shoot me! Someone! Anyone! <laughs> Once you've joined the Black Knights, you have only two choices. You may either live with me, or you may perish with me! General Katase, we've received a message from Cornelius' forces demanding our surrender! Imbecile! If we fall here, then we've lost, and the whole resistance movement falls with us! What about Toto? Where is he? He's gone to Kyoto to get the custom Budais. The four holy swords are traveling with him, too. If they're on schedule, they should be returning soon, but... Toto won't make it in time. The enemy is engaging our encirclement, and they'll try to break through at some point. From there, we'll be able to ascertain where their base is. How clever. They turned this whole mountain into a fortress. So it's upon liberation from as well. Gilford, don't treat me as though I'm another one of your women. Princess Cornelia! It's... Challenge me and try to take me down. You're too fragile. The enemy seems to be concentrated over here. This may be the target. Impressive as always, Cornelia. A very logical deployment. However excellent though it is, it's also easy to read. As is your location. I thought the reserve units were supposed to be assigned to General Dalton. That's right, they were, but our unit has to secure the rear line of Viceroy Cornelius. You mean this is the rear line? You can't get any farther away from the battlefield! How now, any resistance still remaining in Area 11? Will soon be finished. Right! All preparations have now been completed! Black Knights, prepare to move out! We, the Black Knights, are going to launch a surprise attack on the Britannians from the summit of the mountain. Per my instructions, you will charge on Moss down toward point three. Call it. Use penetrating electrode number three. Settle things with one blow. Got it. Output confirmed. Wave surger levels ready and holding. Activating gauntlet now. Oh shit, they use the landslides! Oh my god. What's happening? Impossible. How could a landslide come out of nowhere? Alex and Dalton's units are getting wiped out! Climb! Get to higher ground! <laughs> That's great. That's great. We're still trying to confirm! Your Highness, pull back! You're in danger there! I don't care! Forget about me! Fight! Fine... <laughs> this is like, the last resort, Eddie. Anyway. It's even more destructive than I anticipated. We did succeed in isolating Cornelia's unit, but we could have been a bit more accurate. Jesus. Perhaps no I should have consulted a physics teacher. What's wrong? It's not the Japan Liberation Front. They think it's the Black Knights. What? Then it's Zero! How dare he show up here? Zero! Oh, Smash right through them! Yeah, we can do this now! If I can finish this before Zero reaches Princess Cornelia, then I'll be golden. Is Zero here? Face me! Come forward and fight Jeremiah Goodwald! Well, well, it's been a while, Jeremiah. So you're still in the army? I'd love to stay and catch up, but I'm afraid I don't have time right this minute, orange boy. Oh. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Shit! <gasps> orange! He's so Die! He's so offended. I've never seen a nightmare like that before. Is it possible that the Elevens have You think Elevens are capable of such technology? <laughs> It's fast! What's this? Oh, shit! What, what the hell? 
hell's happening? Lord Jeremiah, it's Jack! I can't run now! Zero's right in front of me! It's gonna be a death in a minute, mate, if you didn't. Object. Don't you dare activate! I can still get Zero! I know it! I know I can still get him! I won't lose. Not with this. Gurren Mark II. She defeated Lord Jeremiah. Who are the Black Knights? Who are they, these warriors? All our tasks at hand have been cleared. The pieces are in position. The only thing left to do is check my opponent's stronghold. <laughs> ah, fuck! Okay, episode 10. Oh my god, great episode. That was fucking awesome. I was, I was just, I was just so like in the whole way. Like everything about that episode was great. Um, it's probably my favorite episode to date, I think, actually. Um, so, at the very beginning, when um, C two was like in the pool and Lelouch was by this, like at the side of the pool, like he was going through like different people and stuff. Are they recruits? Because they were talking about recruits, right? Or like, so is that die, uh, diet hard read guy? The media guy with the ponytail, is he? Because I, 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 I'm sure, in like an episode, in episode eight, he was, well, also in like episode five or whatever. Um, he's always been, um, like very inter like interested and intrigued by by Zero and stuff, and I, like. It's possible. It's possible that, he, that, that, that he's wanting to get in there. I, I thought he was just more of like a third party kind of guy where he, he, he just wanted to get the, get the news, you know. But, I'll have to see. Um, so we had a group called Kyoto who sent um, the Black Knights uh, some nightmares. Um, Gurrens is what they're called. So they're just Glasgow's, but that, that upgraded. Um... Which is interesting. The Japanese made as well. Um, uh, Callan's got like the the Gurren Mark II, which is the red one. Is that just so? Is that like the original Glasgow that they had, but they've just like repaired it and upgraded it? I feel like it might be. Because she lost in episode one. She lost uh, one of the Glasgow's like arms, right? And now it's been like replaced with like this other thing, um, this like silver one, and whatnot. It's pretty fucking good. They must have some like good fucking like engineers on the on the uh, on the go to be able to to fit like to upgrade these like Glasgow's to surpass Sutherland's, um, or at least the the Gurren Mark II. Anyway, I can't say say it for like the the other like just the the regular ones, but um, yeah. I wonder what uh, Lelouch's main one is then. Um, I don't know. Uh, I love the, I love the the fucking I, I love the plan to like get there before Cornelia gets there because otherwise it would have been surrounded. You wouldn't be able to get in. So instead, to like get there beforehand, so that they can do a surprise attack from within is is great. I love that. Oh, I love shit like that. I love it when like I love it when. Shows can like implement smart like like tactics and shit like that in in there, because that was really cool. I fucking love it. Um, and like everything like to, to use the landslides and shit. <laughs> That's so great. Like I love how Lelouch is using the Japan Liberation Front, not because he wants to go talk to them. Or anything like that. He's just using the fact that that's where they are, and then he wants, and then he knows that's where Cornelia is going. So he's like, "All right, I'll just set up shop here." That's <laughs> so great. The landslide idea is fucking quality. Um, the only thing is, I'm not sure if it was smart to take off his helmet. I know he has this like sort of mask thing here or whatnot, but I don't know. I don't. I, I don't know if that was smart. He's got because his helmet's got a fucking thingy, right? Like a, a compartment that opens and he can throw his eyes. So I don't. Was there any point in taking off his helmet? I don't know. Um. But you had a uh, Molly confirm that she's the principal's granddaughter. 
Um, so I guess that that's some sort of. I don't know. Like I guess the. She, well, she did say the family was. Sort of, it used to be powerful, or at least like have some. Like some nature of merit to it, at least. But so, but this she said that that was before, like that was in the past. It, it, so it doesn't now. I guess that's why. Um. They're wanting Molly to marry into a, a higher a family, I guess. I guess that must be what it, what it is. Um, C2 snow analogy. I didn't. I don't get it. <laughs> Why is snow white? Because it's if, because I forgot what color it was. There's got to be a significance to that, and like a relation to to. Like, I mean, I guess the louche. I guess. Like, is it more like he's forgetting what he was supposed to be doing? Like, is it for... like it's almost like that. That's what you would say to someone who's forgotten what they were really doing. Like, forgotten like what, like why they started doing things in the first place. But I feel like this whole thing is Lelouch's. Like, he hasn't forgotten anything. He's still doing what he wants to do. Like, he's still doing this whole take down Britannia thing, and you do that by taking out the family, right? Which is. Cornelia, so I don't know. C2 snow analogy thing. If there's anything else that, like, if there's something I missed from that and it's not what I just said it was, then you're gonna have to tell me. Um, but I was definitely confused by it anyway. Um, one of the guys mentioned that the second prince is the patron of the, I, b I believe, the special core, right? So where the engineering core is, where, where Lancelot and that is. I think that's what he said. He said the second prince. Is the patron? What is the right? Well, first of all, what the hell does the patron mean? Um, I guess like sort of defending it. I don't know. Um, <laughs> but also the second prince. Who's the second prince? Have we met him yet? Because I know the second princess is Cornelia. But I don't know who the second prince is. I don't know. I'm not sure if we've met him yet. Um, the Japan Liberation Front was saying well, they were waiting for someone called Toto. Um, and I guess they have, like, they also have upgraded nightmare frames in that, like, little convoy thing that they've got going on. And also the four holy swords, which I imagine are probably what? The, the top four, like, highest. In the in the pecking order of, of of the Japan Liberation Front, I guess, um, with Toto being the top, the the, the top guy, the guy, the guy who you always see with the, the katana, um, I guess. Um, yeah, we had Jeremiah abandoning in like abandoning in <laughs> abandoning his orders um, to go after Zero because in hopes that oh yes, I've got him now. I don't know if it was for revenge. I think it was, right? It must be. It's just straight up revenge. Um, sort of trying to get his... Maybe there was some element of him trying to get back his rank by doing this, but, you know, it, clearly Zero is... Um, yeah, because uh, Zero pretty much ruined everything for him, right? So, you know, I guess it makes sense. But he, but, he, but he was so set on fucking getting him that to the point where even when he was like gonna die he still was like trying to push forward he had no fucking there was no way he was ever gonna win out of that battle and he, he, he still pushed it looked like he was he, he, what he had he, like no, his nose was bleeding and shit I'm, I'm trying to think what the um what the weapon she was using was doing because at first i thought oh, oh shit it's heating it up but then I thought, no, it's just causing it's causing extreme vibration, like at the point where it's it's completely sort of breaking down the Sutherland. And I guess breaking down the electronics inside and shit. I'm just wondering, like, why it, Jeremiah would be getting a nosebleed from it. I guess it's like intense vibration. I think because that's the same thing that essentially what what she did when she caused the landslide. I guess, but I don't know. Um. But yeah, and uh, finally, the uh, I I love the similarities between 
Cornelia and um, and Lelouch. Uh, you know the. I think it basically comes down to like Cornelia does go out on the front lines, even though she's the like she could you know she could just stay back and sort of project what she wants to happen, um, and just give all as and whatnot, and just let everyone else do it, kind of like what Clovis was doing, right? But Cornelia goes out in front. In an episode one, Lelouch was saying that a king should lead his troops in the battle and shit, right? Should be right up at the front, and I think that's what that's pretty much what Colonia does, which is it's going to be interesting. I I know that, um, I know that Lelouch let Euphemia live because of the way Euphemia is, because of the way she sees this whole thing. Colonia is different though, and it makes me wonder how. Like, it might just end up coming down to that. Like, I I. I I guess if if it was ever in Lelouch's hands to kill Cornelia, he probably would. So yeah, we'll have to see. But the similarities are definitely there. Um, I just like how Lelouch like formulated his plan, like in advance, so that Cornelia couldn't change the battle thing. Almost like she did in episode. Um, What episode was it? it? Was episode eight? I think. Yeah, it must have been. Um, when they were fighting before, um, I love how Lelouch formulated a plan beforehand so that Cornelia couldn't see it coming, which is great. Chess match. <laughs> it's awesome. All right, so that is all. That's all I've got. Really cool. It was a hell of a fucking cliffhanger though, so that's that's gonna be a tough way for next week. But anyway, yes, that was awesome. Thank you everybody for watching. And I will see you all next time. Bye bye.